Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a quick video on what I think is the fastest way to level up from level 2 to 3. The reason to do this is if you do have a high level character and you're trying to do the score challenge uh, and you want, don't want to go through the tedious process of trying to level up that high level character. So sometimes it'll work out just fine where you can just level up. I'm going to show you quickly what I think is the quickest way to do that. And we can do it pretty much in around 7 minutes, uh, give or take. Uh, definitely no longer than 10 minutes to level up that second character. And it's just a few steps. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually use one of our alt characters. If you haven't created an alt, let's go ahead and create an alt. If you used up all your alts, you're going to have to delete one of your alts if you want to do this method. Uh, otherwise, just level up your alt, your alt normally, but that, that's not the, what this is about. So again, we're just going to create a new character. I'm just going to hit my stopwatch just so I can get an approximation of how long this is going to take us, including creating that character. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a character. We're not going to pick up anything except our cards, our perk cards. We're not going to pick up the camp. We're not going to pick up anything else. We're just going to go through and create the character. We're going to head down to the wall, wall wide, and we're going to uh, run the first quest or the first discussion point with the woman there. Okay, so this is probably the longest piece is to get through this little process, yeah. Let's skip, it still kind of delays a little bit to get through this first screen. Okay, we're just going to get up. And then we're going to be bolting. Okay, so, so just pick your character, doesn't really matter. Uh, I just call it something like up, uh, or you can call it level up. Try not to call it the same as your other characters, because if you are are deleting characters, you don't want to uh, make a mistake at all. So give it something completely different. Don't if you label characters like name one two three four five, and you say okay, that's going to do it number five. Uh, you could mistakenly enter in one. It would just be a disaster deleting your main character. Give it like a level up name or you can delete me. Okay, so we're going to head and we're going to head up the stairs. We're not going to pick up anything. You can pick up the stuff if you want, but there's really no reason to or need to. Okay, we're going to head through here. We're just going to follow the signs. We're not even going to pick up supplies. We're not even going to pick up our camp. Okay, we're going to ignore the camp completely. So I think the way to do, I'm not sure it's going to make a difference. You can pick two things, yeah, either intelligence, get a bit more XP, or you can pick agility so you can run faster to the world. Your choice. So, uh, or you can pick charisma, I guess. So I'm going to go with intelligence, but if you want, you can pick agility. That'll allow you to, to run a little bit faster. But let's go with uh, intelligence. Might give us a little bit XP in terms of um, we, when we're doing stuff. Not really necessary. Okay, so that's all we all we're gonna do is pick a per card. You don't even have to do that to be honest. You could skip that step if you want it. Okay, we're gonna head out the door here. Okay, so that's taken us approximately three minutes just to get to this point. Um, and that's the kind of the bulk of the, or half, half of the actual level up, I would guess, in terms of time. Okay, so... We're going to head to the wallward. It's really just straight down. You don't have to even look at the map. Just bolt all over these railings. And we're going to head towards the road that leads us to the overseer's camp. 
Just head straight right down the hill. And then you should eventually run into the lumber mill. And then when you do see the lumber mill, which is just kind of to our, our in front of us, just to the right there a little bit. I mean, if you wanted, you could go there and kill some ticks and, and, and stuff, but really not necessary. Okay, so we can just kind of head at a little bit of an angle, uh, and we just want to hit the road. I think there's a little path here somewhere you can follow at some point. Yeah, yeah, we go. Yeah, just head down this path or just keep on heading, heading in this kind of direction. Someone's got their camp here. Yeah. And you want to kind of get to, I guess it's this road, yeah, and we're going to follow this road. So you just can follow this road all the way to OVCS camp. Okay, we're at the five minute mark. Sometimes I notice it kind of glitches out with the map uh, if you do do this. Um, you can see I've got no, uh, my display is all messed up. I've noticed it does that. I don't know if that's because I don't pick up the camp and stuff like that. Maybe it does something weird. But when I do get to the overseer's camp, it typically resolves itself. So I guess if you do run into something, you can go ahead and kill it. It will help your cause. Okay, so we've got the wall wood on uh, our left here, and we're just going to head straight across the road. There's two things you want to do here, is you want to create a weapon, and you want to craft a weapon, and you want to craft some armor. Um, don't do more than one weapon and one more armor. I just do one, and then you can use all the rest of your supplies on whatever you decide to do second. I tried just doing weapons and not the armor, and I actually got le less XP, which is kind of interesting, even though it's kind of similar, doing similar functions. Okay, so so we want to grab and go to this red toolbox, and again, I can't actually see what, what I'm taking, but I, I assume I'm taking stuff, because it's kind of glitched out. Okay, we're going to once you kind of go on the weapon bench, it kind of unglitches itself. Okay, so we're going to create one level weapon here. You notice I'm now unglitched for some reason. Okay, and I'm just going to take some of my rest of my supplies here. And I'm going to craft a some armor. And you can use your rest of your supplies if you want. So we can just go use until we can't use. But yeah, do, do one of each. Do at least one armor and one weapon. It helps with uh, oh, still saying I need to do a weapon, so I'm not sure I actually created a weapon. Okay, let me let me see. I thought I did, but it still has a check mark. So okay, so I'm just gonna scrap that quickly so I can create a weapon here. Okay, okay, there we go. Yeah, so once we've done that, you can really see we almost at half a level into our level two between two and three. We're gonna head straight into the wall wood yeah. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kill the guy that's talking to her, and then we're just gonna go through talking to the woman. Um Okay, so once we're inside, you will see a guy talking to her. You can just kind of try and interact. Okay, you're going to say attack. You don't really care. Skip. And you just want to take this guy out. You try not to die. Okay, very quick and easy. Okay, we're going to continue interacting with Duchess. It just takes a little bit sometimes. 
So she's talking, and now you can just skip this, this just skip until she's finished done. It takes about a minute, I guess. Okay, we're at about 8 minutes 47 seconds. Okay, so you should be able to skip most of this, the dialogue. She'll walk backwards. Um, okay, she'll start doing something, and then she'll come back and talk to us, and we should be done. Okay, so here we go. We still might, sometimes you'll have just enough XP to level up. If you don't, then you should have enough XP and we, uh, you should have, it should be almost there and we can just drop a camp to, to give us our final level up. And if that still doesn't work, there are some, some hounds down the road. So there you go. Uh, that, that gave me a level up. Uh, but sometimes you won't. It will be just before level 3, just a tiny sliver. Uh, if that does happen to you, there, there's two things you can do. You can just exit and you can drop your camp, run up the hill. What I do is I just run straight across the road up the hill about uh, 500 feet. And you can drop your camp or you can head towards Flatwoods and there's a couple of of mutants or, or, or dogs or whatever you want to call those, those wild mongrels. Um, there's about three of them, plus there's some mole rats that you can kill that will definitely level you up. So, uh, but there you go. That took us approximately ten minutes on the on the dot um, to 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 go from level two to three, and then you know you can do that quite quickly uh, and then rinse and repeat. Um, so yeah, versus trying to level up a high level character, which could easily take twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Uh, it's just a tedious, very tedious process, depending on how high level you are. Anything really over 100 um, is just a pain, uh, unless you're very close to leveling up. But yeah, this is just a very quick way to level up, get your score, and then reset. And then what normally what I do is I will uh, just basically exit the game at this point. You can check your challenges. Just make sure your challenges for level up are done. Very quickly to get the, the level 3. As you can see with this character, it's only... It's only Wednesday and I've already got all three done and that's all I've been doing. And the, ma the main reason I'm actually doing this is because Bethesda, in, for, 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 for the life of them, thinks it's, it's, a, it's a very cool thing to now add another daily operation, which I absolutely, um, I just hate, hate this, hate being forced to do daily operations if I don't want to. But then to add three daily operations, two on a daily is just ridiculous in my opinion. Um, you know, I know they kind of all in this case yesterday was was a little bit worse. They wanted you to have four people on a team, which I'm sure is gonna annoy a lot of people because I know there's at least a couple of high levels that can do it with a friend, right? Like two of them and some of them can even do it solo. So it's it's almost impossible for those guys that want to do it solo. Uh, I'm not sure you can do it solo anymore, but uh, I know in the past you could but, um, you know, now that you need four people just to get a daily, that daily is kind of stupid. And then you have the complete daily, which has been there since they came up with dailies and it hasn't gone away, unfortunately. And then the weekly daily as well. It's just, it's just kind of too much. But anyway, so in my, the reason why I want to do this is now I don't have to deal with it. The daily operations, um, hopefully this will go away. I can just do quickly do a level up, right? Um, which will make it a little bit less tedious. Okay, so once you've done that, just exit the game. This is what I typically do. I just do a quick come in and, and I'll delete that character again. Just be super careful you don't delete your main character. That's why it's important. Don't don't call it the same as your other ones. Because, you know, in my case, you know, I, I, I typically would call it uh, uh, from Vault 101-5, right? Which is fine because then you think, okay, I can just delete um, 5, right? But what happens if you're not paying attention and you put one instead of five and you accidentally delete five right so just call it something completely different uh that there's no chance of you making a mistake right so in this case we're going to hit x delete we're going to put in up and then we're going to hit accept and again it doesn't really tell you which character is deleting unfortunately yeah it's a, making assumptions i guess the one that you highlighted in the background but um it says delete this character, and I guess you typed in up, so there we go. It deletes it, right? So just make sure you don't mess it up, because, uh, yeah, you'll be pretty hot sore. Um, and then, yeah, just rinse and repeat. So normally what I do is I just do a quick reset, 
and I get it ready for the next day um, and or the next time I want to actually do a level up, right? So it literally takes you 10 minutes, right? There you go. Anyway, I hope you find it useful. If you find, if you know of any quicker ways to do this, I know people have suggested lunch boxes and stuff. That means you've got to get someone together with a lunch box. I'm sure if you're in a group of friends, maybe it makes sense. But obviously, most people want to do this solo. Um, you know, you can drop your camp for a little bit of XP. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's really a super quick way to do this. Um, so yeah, I think this is just probably the best way is just head to. Um, head down to 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 the wayward and do that. Uh, another person recommended you could do um, a thirst thirst things first quest, right? And that gives you a chance. He said it gives you a chance of a one point five one five three chance of dropping the jumpsuit, the scout mask lottery. So you know when you're doing these these level ups, you might want to consider heading down to Flatwoods and doing thirst 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 things first. Um, quest and then you can get get that I guess that mask lottery but that to me just makes things more complicated and then you have to transfer that even if you did get it you have to transfer it before you can delete the character and stuff right so anyway so what I do is I just do a reset again just give it up okay and we head out Just basically rinse and repeat what we already did. So you do want to exit the vault for to save, otherwise it won't save that character, so just make sure you do that. You don't try to leave before you exit it. And then when you ex once you exit the game, of course, oh, sorry, exit the vault, uh, you can just at this point exit the game. If it lets you, uh, if it hasn't frozen, as you can see, for whatever reason, it's freezing, right? I, I think it might be because I'm not picking up the camp item or something, or maybe it's just glitchy. Uh, but yeah, I can't, I can't actually go to the map. I'm trying to go to the map at the moment. Uh, I can go to my pit, pit boy. Uh, but yeah, I can't actually go to the map, right? It's kind of weird. Maybe someone can tell me why, or maybe they know why it does that. But anyway, so at this point, I guess you just can close the game down and uh, you're done. Anyway, hope you found it useful and hit the like button if you did. Thanks very much.